What's going on, my math party people? Anderson here, your math coach. Let's go ahead and get into this challenge question. And the only reason that this one is a challenge question is because we have to go ahead and understand the idea forward and backwards. So let's go ahead and get started here nice and easy by just going with the three steps to word problem success. What do we want? What do we have? And then we'll work our hardest to figure out what the connection is. So let's get to work here. What is it that we want in this problem? Well, that's gonna start with the question here. The who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following, right there. What will the new mean be? And as a reminder, mean is the same thing as average. So what we want is the quote new mean or average. Okay, sounds good. So before we even continue, it's important to understand the formula to calculating average. If we don't know that formula, this is gonna be a lot harder. So remember, the formula for average, so the formula to calculate mean equals the total amount divided by the number of numbers. So the amount that you're calculating. So the total amount of top and the number of values, the amount of values that you have. And that's going to equal your mean. So with that said, let's get into it here and let's pick apart the information. What's the old mean? If we know what are the old things, what are the new things? Let's go ahead and sort this information out. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way. Because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard, and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. I see it here. The mean weight of four dogs is 10 pounds. So right here, four dogs and the mean equals 10 pounds. Okay. Then it says a fifth dog weighs 20 pounds and it's introduced to the group. Okay, so we have our fifth dog equals 20 pounds. Sounds good. So this is a fairly short question, right? It's, it's really, what, two sentences? Wow, okay, but that doesn't matter. What do we know? We know we're looking for the mean with the fifth dog included, the new mean. And then what we need then to calculate mean again is the total amount, so the total weight in this case, divided by the number of dogs. So let me rewrite that for us to make sure that this makes sense. In this question specifically, it's the total weight divided by the number of dogs. Divided by the number of dogs. Okay, so let's understand what we're looking for here. If we're trying to find that new mean, here's what we can do. With the new mean, if we're trying to solve this immediately, we know that we're gonna have five dogs. But what's the problem? Well, we don't know what the total weight of the five dogs is. I know that I have 20 pounds for that fifth dog, but what about the first four dogs? What's the weight of the first four dogs? How am I supposed to figure that out? That's the big question, right? Because that's what we need to plug in here. If I have the total weight of five dogs divided by five dogs, I get the average weight. So what are we supposed to do? Well, my party people, here's what we do. We're gonna go ahead here and do the following. And then I'm gonna show you a shortcut to this problem, okay? There's two ways to do this, but stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you a really big shortcut that you can use in the future. So, here's what you'll do. I'm gonna do, for the four dogs, I'm gonna do their mean. What do I know about that? Well, the mean of the four dogs right here is 10 pounds. So the mean, so 10, 10 pounds equals, and remember the total weight 
divided by four dogs, right? Okay, so I'm going to mark this right here like this. T, the total for four dogs, divided by four, right? Look at what we just did. Look at what we just set up. We have the total weight divided by four is going to be 10 pounds. That's a true statement. That is a true idea right there. So what we do is we will multiply both sides by four. And booyah, we cancel out the four right here on the right side, giving us four times 10, and that's 40 pounds. 40 pounds is the total weight of the four dogs. So guess what, my party people? To get the total weight of five dogs over here, that means we're gonna go ahead and have the 40 pounds from the four dogs plus the 20 pounds for the fifth dog. That's gonna give us the total weight of all five dogs. And just like this free YouTube video right here, my Math 40 people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. This is the first four. And this is gonna be the fifth dog right here. So then we can solve this now, we're good. The mean of the five dogs, the average weight of the five dogs is gonna be 40 plus 20, which is 60 divided by five dogs. And that's gonna equal 12 pounds for each dog, an average weight of 12 pounds a dog. And there it is, boom, A is the answer. But stay right there. Let me show you the faster way to do this problem. Here's a cool little neat way that mean or average works. What we can do is this. We can go ahead and feel free to go ahead and take a screenshot here, take your notes, because we're gonna erase all of this. But here's what I'm gonna do. And this will work for every problem that is of this type. Your mean with four dogs, 10 pounds, right? You have a fifth dog that weighs 20 pounds. So here's how to calculate the new mean super quickly. This is a shortcut here. What you can do is first take the difference between that new dog's weight and the mean. Take the difference. The difference is going to be 10. 20 minus 10 equals 10. So there's a difference of 10 pounds. But here's the thing. How many dogs do you now have? You now have five dogs. So what we're going to do next is we're going to say, hey, 10 pounds difference divided by five dogs, it's going to equal a difference of two pounds on average. So plus two pounds on average. And so the old mean was 10 pounds. So the new mean is going to be two more pounds and that's going to be 12 pounds. So that strategy there, basically long story short, what you're doing is if you want to calculate a new mean after introducing an additional subject, what you're going to say is this, calculate the difference between the mean and the new weight or the new value. Then whatever that value is divided by the new amount, the new number that you have. From there, you add it back to the old average to get the new average and you're done. Feel free to write that down. If you look at the formulas, it'll make sense because the formula sets you up that way. But if that doesn't make sense, do it the way that we previously did. Either way, this is a type of problem that you do wanna know. It's a very common type of test question. So either way, ask me any questions if you need any help, but let's move forward and let's go ahead and keep raising our scores. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.